Alright, hello everyone. Today we have a very quick but special video for you. We have the Galaxy Note 9 in our hands today. And as you can see here, the packaging design is pretty simple this time around. At the front sleeve here, you have the S Pen itself. It's shown in black color right here. But if you are getting different colors of your Galaxy Note 9, you will get the corresponding S Pen color printed on the sleeve itself. So, if you're getting the blue colored version, you'll be getting the yellow S Pen, so that sleeve will have a yellow colored S Pen as well. So, opening up the box right here, you can see the accessories box is right at the top. And uh, this time around, they switched things up a little bit. And opening this little cover right here reveals the SIM ejector tool. And that's it. If you want to access the included TPU case and some documentations, you have to go to the top. And right here, we have the Galaxy Note 9 itself. The one I have here is in the copper color. I have unboxed it previously, so that's why you can't see any stickers. And inside the box here, you have the charger itself. And you do get the usual slew of accessories that come with Samsung Galaxy series of smartphones like the OTG dongle. And also the micro USB to USB Type-C converter. Your AKG tuned earphones, the USB-C cable and also the changeable ear tips and also the tips for the S Pen itself if it gets worn out. So again, the Copper Galaxy Note 9. It is just beautiful. I really like this color a lot and I'm glad that Samsung actually lent me this unit of the Galaxy Note 9 to review. Review is coming up soon by the way and as you can see here, the S Pen is also in copper color. It's just love at first sight for me. It's beautiful. And uh, well, let's just take a look at the Galaxy Note 9 itself with the S Pen. So right here, I have the camera launched as you can see here. And you can just press the S Pen's button to take a picture. It's simple, elegant, and the S Pen now works as a remote control. Yes, if you double tap on the S Pen, it changes to selfie camera. And then you can continue taking pictures by just pressing it once. Really convenient and uh, let's just take a look at some gaming experience right here. So how you can get Fortnite Mobile on your Samsung device is that you head on to your Galaxy apps on your Galaxy device. Yes, there's a lot of galaxies in just that one sentence. And from there, you can download it right away. And it does take a very, very long time to start the game up. So once it's started, and have everything downloaded which is around 2 gigabytes. It's quite big for a game actually. And you are in the game. So as you can see, Ashbout 9 runs flawlessly and this game doesn't have any physics by the way. I'm not sure how I just did that. I just crashed into another car and took it down while in air. And uh, this game is pretty different from its predecessor but we're not gonna get into that. Just have a look at this funny physics of the game. I'm not too sure what to call it. It's just over the top. You can spin, pump nitrous in air, and just accelerate. I'm not sure how, but yeah, that's Ashbot 9 for you. And then I also tried another game, my go-to game in testing graphics, which is Honkai Impact 3. This game will really just stress your phone out when it comes to performance in terms of computing and also graphics. I'm playing it at the highest settings and you can see here the game runs really smoothly and Samsung actually developed something called water carbon cooling to keep the temperature on the Galaxy Note 9 low and your frame rates high so you can play your games at a consistent frame rate while the phone just keeps up with everything that you put on. This is especially important to prolong your battery life and the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 also comes with a massive 4000mAh battery and they claim it to be a full day battery. We'll put it to the test in our review. Stay tuned for that. This is our quick look at the Galaxy Note 9. Do stay tuned for our review that's coming really soon. I hope you have a nice day. Thanks for watching everyone and uh, have a nice day.